Every time a new gaming technology is released, companies race to get it into their laptops. The Asus ROG Zephyrus M16 has beaten its rivals with Nvidia's high-end GeForce RTX 4090 GPU, and that's not the only exciting piece of hardware on display. Next to the graphics core you will find a high-end Intel processor, and on the lid you will find more than 1,500 customizable LEDs. Cutting edge rarely comes cheap, of course, but this year gamers are being asked to part with more cash than ever before. To test the M16 here, you'll have to pay £4,100, and even the version with the slower RTX 4080 will cost you £3,300. That's a tantalizing number, and will likely climb even higher once rivals from Alienware and Razer arrive. At first glance the M16 is a very mature rig. The chassis boasts clean lines and a cleanly milled grille made from black aluminum, and the only tinted lighting you'll find is on the keyboard. The good looks are backed by great build quality, with almost no flex to the panels. Impressively, the Asus only weighs 2.3 kilograms and is only 22.9 millimeters thick, so it doesn't take up the space of a full desktop replacement. The 16-inch display means it's never going to be the most portable gaming laptop, but you can still toss the M16 in your bag without having to take everything else out first. It does have performance ramifications, though, more on that below. Want more flamboyance from your laptop? M16 Flip, the lid is adorned with 1,711 white LEDs, hidden behind 17,000 CNC milled apertures. Asus calls it Anime Matrix, which can be customized with predefined animations, your own text, virtual pets, or even the machine's vital statistics. It's easy to manage and pretty cool at first, but it does nothing but show off, it's always facing away from you. The M16 is also a bit of a disappointment in several practical areas. There are two full-size USB ports, one USB-C and a Thunderbolt 4 port on the side, as well as a microSD reader and HDMI out, but there's no wired internet, a big problem for gamers who want the best multiplayer experience. Internally there's Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 alongside the Windows Hello webcam, but no fingerprint reader. The Alienware and Razer rivals we mentioned earlier are poised to deliver full-size SD card readers and 2.5 gigabits per second wired internet, though they'll be heavier and more expensive to boot. Look under the lid, rather than the eye-catching lights above it, and the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16 is far more impressive. The 16-inch display uses mini-LED technology with 1025 dimming zones for effective HDR. Plus it can set a fast 240Hz refresh rate at 2560x1600 native resolution. Load a game and you'll get the brightness, bounce and dynamism typically found on high-end TVs. Everything looks fantastic in SDR mode, where brightness surpasses 600 nits and contrast ratio increases to 22888 to 1. Peak brightness is doubled in HDR mode, and colors are pretty accurate, with the Delta E 3.65 great for gaming if not creative work. Only eSports pros who want a faster 360Hz or 480Hz panel need to take a look at the upcoming Alienware M16, but right now we don't think there's a more complete gaming laptop display than this. It's also paired with a decent audio kit, a pair of 2W woofers produce punchy bass, Two tweeters produce a solid mid-range impact, and there's a decent high-end with enough volume to fill a room. The GeForce RTX 4090 at the heart of the Zephyrus M16 uses NVIDIA's latest Ada Lovelace architecture, with a Stream 9728 processor and a hefty 16GB of video memory. As well as devouring even the most graphically intense games, it can happily output 4K displays and VR headsets, and takes advantage of NVIDIA's DLSS 3.0 technology, so it should be able to keep up with new games for years to come. Thank you for watching our channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we are enthusiastic about providing information about gadgets.